What's up, YouTube? Zidane4289 here yet again, uh, giving you a couple more achievements in L.A. Noir. The first achievement is the Car Enthusiast achievement. Uh, this one, you just have to get in five different cars and drive like a foot and a half in front of you, and it'll count towards your car account. Uh, that way, you know, after you drive five cars, you know, you get the achievement. The next one is, what does it do? Now, why is there a black dude in pharmacy looking for, like, whatever it is he's looking for? Like, this... Is this game racist? No, I'm joking. Alright, before you guys, like, even, like, remotely say that, like, I'm black, so, you know, calm down. I'm not to make, you know, black jokes. Anyway, uh, for this achievement, you basically have to run this guy down. Uh, this is where I got the achievement. I don't know if you can do this any other time yet, so, um, this is a good way to do it. I was trying to tackle him initially, but, you know, I couldn't catch up with him because he was running too fast. <laughs> no pun intended. And when he gets to the top here, you basically want to just, you know, keep chasing him, keep chasing him. And then he'll stop. And, you know, this is when you get ready to rumble right here. So he turns around. He's like, all right, come on. You hit that's the judge. You know, you wait for him to... You know, do that. And you just give him another two piece and a biscuit. And once that's said and done, the game is low there. And you will get the keep a lid on achievement, which is basically the achievement where you keep your hat on the entire time throughout the fight. So, congrats to you if you do it. You know, it's pretty easy. You know, even a caveman can do that one. Alright, the next achievement moving on is the hunch achievement. You basically have to use four intuition points on this achievement. Now, during this achievement, guy here, well, during this part, I'm going to talk about a little topic. I want you guys' opinion on what do you guys think about, you know, companies like, you know, EA and Midway or, you know, Companies like selling, I don't like. <coughs> excuse me, their online passes for their games. They say you buy a pre-owned copy. Like you know, do you think it's right for them to charge you for an online pass or not? So comment, you know, down below, you know, comment on your, you know, opinions about that because I got into many arguments about it. My personal opinion is, my thing is, like you know, they. Developers don't make money off of pre-owned sales, so this is their way of making some profit off of pre-owned sales. In my opinion, it's smart, but uh, you know, it's smart in my opinion. Like, it's a good way to make some profit off of the game that they already made. I had people tell me like you know it's stupid they shouldn't do that like they shouldn't charge you for an online pass this and that third but if you think about it it's a serious I would rather pay them for the online pass if I got the game used anyway because that's only fair if you got it used then you know that's their way of saying look here you gotta buy this in order to unlock the full potential of the game it's fair to me What can you tell us about Alright, this question here I'm going to pick a uh, Ask Community. Uh, the funny thing I found was the Community was absolutely wrong on this one. It was lie. And most of the Community put doubt, which was kind of stupid. Because you could tell she's lying. So 42% said doubt. I said, you know what, let me go with lie here. Cause you, you can tell by her face. Look at her face. I think something happened to Jessica yesterday before the crash. I'm offended, Sunshine. Do you have any proof? And the proof is you, you, you got the underwear there. Now you can look up and look at her face while you, before you even do, you know, choose to look at her face. She all shifty out and shady looking. She like she's sweating. Miss Hamilton's underwear were physically torn from her body. She wanted to go to a casting. I took her to a casting. Whatever happened Another topic I want to touch on is uh, 
Yes, sir. How do you guys feel about companies like EA, you know, kind of being lazy when they're making sequels to their games? I mean, Mass Effect 2 was an awesome sequel, but we, Dragon Age 2 was good and all, but they mostly just did cut and paste on it. You know, there's no way you can go through the same cave over and over again. And it'd be cut off at different parts. Like, oh, you can't go this way. Like, it, I was just over there in the last cave. What are you talking about? Oh, you can't go that way. I'm going to stop you right here. So, you can also write your opinions on that and the pre-owned thing about the online passes. And as I said, I will pick the best opinions written. And I will Why quote them in the next vision? video, so put up some good opinions and let me know what you think. And you could possibly be, you Imagine know, pit in the next YouTube video. And, you know, I won't tell who, you know, I won't tell you who's going to be in it. I'll just, like, you know, pit up, like, well, Cyberwolf said this, or, like, you know, Epic Yarn said that, you know. So, it will be a good argument. For the last one here, you want to pick Doubt, because the community actually got that one right. I'm going to actually give them a clap on that one. Yay. And um, <laughs> you'll get the hunch achievement for using four intuition points. I only did it on this case because I already did the case and I knew the answers already, so. I, I didn't really raise my tuition, uh, intuition points. Uh, the next one you're going to do is the shadow achievement. Now the key to this achievement is to tail a suspect without being seen. Yes, I know I get close now and then, but you know, it's okay to get close. If they keep flashing, don't, you know, you back up a little bit, let them go, like, until they get maybe two car lengths ahead of you. You'll be perfectly fine. Like I had somebody go, oh, well, let me just you know stay behind them. No, no, that doesn't work. Cause they'll see him like, oh, look, cop, Brian. Can you imagine driving a bright yellow taxi cab tailing somebody? Not, not even like a gold yellow, like a banana yellow, like a bright. The brightest banana yellow you've ever seen. Like that fire hydrant right there. That's pretty bright. But uh, you follow her to this cafe thing here. And you get out the car. Run over. You have to like take cover near the door. So she doesn't see you walking in. Oh uh, excuse me. I'm still getting over that little cold I had. And while she's no no wait wait hold on can't go yet. I just bit the phone now. Run, dart, go to the booth, go to the booth. Once you're in the booth, you can sit there, order some hot dogs, you know, some some uh, pancakes, and uh, some coffee. Whatever that guy's having next to you, looks like cigarettes. Ew, never mind, I don't want to eat cigarettes. Uh, you know, get whatever the couple's having that just walked in. Drink a bottle of ketchup. Basically, you're just sitting there, you know, reading a newspaper, pretending to read the newspaper. Alright, here's my question. How is he hiding by reading a newspaper? I mean, she knows what he looks like. I'm pretty sure she's going to look behind her and see, oh, uh, you're the cop that I just talked to. Why are you following me? But that doesn't happen. Any smart person would automatically see the cop. Unless she didn't look over there when she walked out. But you're not even hiding. You're just reading the paper. Anyway, if you did that right, you get the shadow achievement, no matter how stupid it seems. And this is me showing you got the achievement along with the auto enthusiast. See, shadow, tail suspect. And the hunch there.
Okay, for the next achievement, we want to talk to this guy here. We're investigating the murder of Salim. His theme is a uh, Dick Malone or Dick Mal Malin or something. I don't remember. It's Dick something. No, not Dickhead. Just Dick Morlin. I don't know. I don't remember his last name. I'll just stop saying Dick. Anyway, basically, uh, have to get him to tell you his friend's license plate number or something. And the best way to do that is to go to the first question that you, you know, you saw the first question there. Pick the first question. And he'll talk this guy up. And you want to pick truth. And once you pick truth, he'll be like, oh, okay, you know, yeah, he's been here a couple of times. Uh, good fellow. Kind of Justin Bieberish. Uh, you know, walks around looking like a Power Ranger. But, yeah. This is like the plate number. And I'll give you that. And then you'll get the Round Hills achievement. And that is pretty much it. You get your four achievements if you follow the instructions perfectly. And as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. And I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And don't forget, leave your comments about the whole EA and pre-owned thing. Alright, later.